Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga din. It, ako si Bud Brown. Itong asawa ko. Gloria Brown. Gloria Brown. Hmm, matagal na kami, kaming mag-asawa. Ilang taon na? 50. Hindi pa, 50 week. 50 na. Malapat na 50. Mga... Why yes, on film, lady? Mga... Anyway, uh, the title of this video is uh, I Learned Tagalog in Only 48 Years. The reason I, I uh, put that because there's so many language uh, learning, you know, videos that say I learned Spanish in a week, I learned Chinese in three months. So uh, the truth is, I didn't start learning Tagalog until I met my mahal. And uh, I didn't even know there was such a language Tagalog. Um, but when I was stationed in the military in uh, San Antonio Zambales, that's when what I mean, realized, huh? What do you mean, correct? And um, what do you mean I'm stationed in the military? When I was stationed in the Navy. Yeah, but you don't say that. You say in the military. When I was stationed in the military. Yeah, when I was in the military. Thanks for correcting my English. <laughs> Mom. You may continue. Thank you. So, uh, I heard this language and it sounds so strange to me. Go ahead. I'm okay. distracting him. Go ahead. It sounded like a machine gun. I heard these uh, little brown people uh, talking to each other. Sounded like a machine gun. I thought, wow, what kind of language is this anyway? Well, over the years I've learned there's so many languages here in the Philippines. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Filipino, which is based mostly on Tagalog, which is the uh, uh, the language of the Manila air area uh, is considered the national language, and then there's different languages from every island. Mm -hmm. So where I was at, actually, I was in a place uh, called uh, Ilocos, and uh, they spoke Ilocano. But I figured uh, if I wanted to travel around the Philippines, Maybe I should learn the national language. So um, the only problem was many times when I tried to learn the language, uh, the response from my wife and other Filipinos was, it was "That's too hard. You won't. You won't get it. You can't get. You. You won't be able to learn it." And uh, that's deep Tagalog. And so I said to myself, "I'm going to learn this language. I don't care if it takes me 48 years." <laughs> so little by little, I started pick, picking up words and phrases, and I would ask uh, Gloria, my wife, how do you say this? And even to this day, right? I yeah. say, how do you say this in Tagalog? How do you say that? Sometimes she can explain it, and sometimes she can't. Little by little, I pick it up. Now, there's two ways to learn a language. You can. Uh, go to classroom in our school and learn the grammar and learn uh, how it's put together. But the problem with that is you won't have much fluency. Or you could just jump in like I did here in the Philippines and so-called total immersion and your fluency will be good but you may be lacking uh, grammar. So probably even though I feel that I can... Satila ko, pwede ako makipag-usap o na problema. Pwede, but the problem with that is you have to be able to understand what's the meaning of that. Oh, the meaning of the words, yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna say, uh, if, you, if you're gonna say, where are you going? And then you're gonna, go, then you're gonna ask me, I say, saan ka pupunta? Saan ka pupunta? Mm -hmm. Punta sa palengke. Mm -hmm. 
So, I believe it's better to learn phrases as opposed to just words. Uh, and uh, ask different people because different people may have a different meaning. Yep. <laughs> There's too many languages in Mindanao, I mean the Philippines. Yeah. Different, uh, bur uh, different uh, sound of the ink at the Galog, I mean at the Saya, which I don't know how to speak the Saya very good. Yeah, where we are, they speak the local language is Cebuano or Bisaya. And she's not used to speaking uh, Cebuano, even though she's from this area, but she spent so much time in Manila, Tagalog speaking area, and in the States, which was Tagalog. Yep. Most every Filipino there was speaking Tagalog. So she's kind of lost, she can understand the Banakakintindi. Pero mahira magsalita. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But uh, since I've been here, I've been trying to learn the local language, Cebuano, and little by little I'm getting it. Yeah. Maura. Maura. So anyway, everybody, uh, learning languages is a marathon, not a sprint. And so uh, eventually you'll get it. And even if you don't get it 100%, which I don't feel I, I got it 100%, but that's okay. okay. Huh? Like I said, if you want to speak the Galog, you have to have you have to have a translator for that because otherwise you won't, you won't be able to understand what's the meaning. If you say, Mabaho ka, what do you mean by that? You smell horrible. No, I mean seriously, when you want to be speaking... Somebody's going to say, Mabaho ka? <laughs> I no, what I'm not. saying that is, if you want to speak an English, I mean Tagalog, you have to you have to translate that one to English, so that way the Americano can understand. Somebody has to translate it for you. Yeah. You're looking at it. I'm looking at the one. So if you say mabaho ka. Mabaho ka. What may you mean? Mabaho yung mong ilok. What does that mean? Ilok. Kili kili. Uh, Bisaya? Bisaya, yes. Ilo? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. That's a new word, for, a you new word. That's a new word for you today. Yeah. Molly's here bothering. So anyway, okay everybody. Talk to you Bye. later. Thank Bye. Thank you.